as servers and services transition from v4 to v6, we're going to have a gradual shift over to v6, and your v6 connections will then magically access those services using IPv6. The transition is something that will happen behind the scenes and very, very gradually over, as I say, the next 10 years. In that time, IPv6 is going to continue to work, and it's going to be useful and existing in the, in the internet for quite some time. There's a perception that this transition is slow or it somehow should be faster, and it's sometimes said that the internet has been unable in some way to transition to IPv6 so far. It's actually not the case. It's a question of choice on the part of those who are in the position to transition to IPv6. It's a choice that we will, at some point in future, transition when we're ready, when it's justified. The fact is the internet, uh, its success is based in the fact that it's a highly competitive environment. Business has to think very hard these days about where to put resources, about what will give better service and immediate value to customers in commercial terms to win market share. And so far, there have been other priorities than deploying IPv6. So this is actually an informed, intelligent business decision that we see. The fact is, IPv6 isn't necessary on today's internet, but it's going to be very necessary in two years' time. And two years is a critical period for business planning. We're seeing a lot of movement uh, in indicators, as I've said, addresses, routes, traffic on the internet. We're also seeing a lot in surveys of intentions and plans on the part of ISPs.